Well, here we are. It's about eight o'clock in the morning on Sunday, the uh, eighth race day, and uh, we're just doing our final preps, just making sure um, everything is ship shape, strapped down, tied down, locked down, ready for the anticipated uh, pretty bumpy start for the first 24 hours. So it looks like the fleet's going to be sailing into, well, 25 to 30 uh, knots of wind, um, probably up on the higher end of that wind range going out of the Solent due to the funneling effect of the mainland and the, and the Solent and the um, Isle of Wight landmass. So we could see some, some pretty windy weather going out of the Solent. Uh, tide plays a big part of that exit strategy out of the Solent as well. Um, so it could be quite bumpy and chaotic <laughs> to say the least. So we're just making sure Ginny B is all ready for the off uh, sail selection um, and tactics last minute weather information downloads and that sort of thing. Uh, we've got all our food for the first 20 to 24 hours in the cockpit, in bags, plus in a pressure cooker, already prepared so we can minimize the amount of time that we're down below um, in what is very likely to be a very rough and, and uncomfortable um, first 24 hours, even on this boat. Um, quite how the smaller boats are going to cope is uh, is going to remain to be seen. But uh, once we break through this 24-hour um, period, we go into a transition and things should settle down. The further west we get, uh, the uh, the weather should calm down. So um, we should have a little bit of a respite before the next uh, um, battle commences. So uh, watch this space. Watch the race tracker on the Rolex Fastnet website. Uh, you'll get all the information and we'll be updating this Facebook page as and when we can um, from email from the boat. So um, have a look at Conrad here working away on the nav station, just doing some uh, critical navigation work. So he's just looking at all the um, information with regard to tide and wind and uh, just making our final um, strategy plan. Uh, before the off. So it's all looking good and we'll see you all soon.
Monday morning and uh, it was a pretty rough exit from the start line up through the Solent. Um, we had over 30 knots of breeze uh, consistently and uh, that made it pretty uh, tricky sailing uh, in a big fleet of boats cross tacking in a narrow stretch of water like the Solent and coming out of the Solent um, just past uh, Hurst and the Needles it got really tricky um, but thankfully we came through unscathed and all our tacks were good but we had it all on both Comrade and I sailing a boat like Ginny B double handed in gale force conditions pretty much um, pretty tiring as well I've got to say but the boat went very well but uh, it uh, it was definitely a handful so we've had a bit of a moderate uh, night the wind moderated somewhat but um, we had to do a change headsail change to the number three to keep the boat moving fast and that proved to be pretty difficult that was just before uh, sundown on Sunday night and uh, we had trouble getting the sail up through the pre-feeder um, on the uh, on the fourth day so it took uh, two, two or three times to get that done and frankly um, it was it was tough we got absolutely drenched up on the bow both me and Conrad soaked to the skin um, and had to uh, had to drop the sail a number of times to, to finally get it uh, sorted but we got it sorted and from that moment on we really started hauling the mail and uh, through the night it's been a good night for us we've we've hauled in a lot of boats overtoking probably seven eight nine boats um, that we know of uh, sailed straight through them so the boats had really good pace um, or so it seems so uh, we literally as the sun is coming up now we've just tacked onto starboard uh, Tor Bay and Exmouth uh, and Berry Head are just off the beam and uh, we've got a little bit of shelter um, from the um, the average wind speed uh, out in the channel coming around this point so we're going to just sail up the coast uh, towards start point and then uh, we'll tack off uh, to port again sailing westwards once we can clear start point so um, it's uh, it's crash and bash and uh, typical offshore sailing really uh, anyway the fight is on we pushed west we keep going and I'm just about to go off watch now for an hour and uh, get some shut eye. See you soon. So Monday uh, lunchtime, we're uh, due south of Sorkham, sailing upwind in between 17 and 20 knots. The ferocious conditions that uh, attacked the fleet at the start of the race as we sailed out of the Solent have now abated somewhat and um, the fleet has spread out but there's a lot of boats to lewd and to windward of us up ahead and behind, we're right in the thick of it we're ahead of several class 2 boats which is really good because they're bigger faster boats and um, we had a, a pretty tough exit from the Solent and then a very good um, Sunday night we overtook a lot of boats and uh, made a good sail selection and uh, I was quite pleased about that although it was tough we had some real problems getting the sail uh, locked into the uh, the tough luff uh, on the fourth day but anyway we managed to uh, succeed with that after the third go lost a little bit of time but everybody else will be having their same problems as well we've got a boat up ahead that we're slowly reeling in and uh, we've just overtaken a boat to windward on Conrad's watch so things are looking good We passed a lot of boats 
very close indeed. In fact, uh, a couple of times there were boats that we passed, no more than two bow lengths to, to, to leeward of us. So really close, and it was a pitch black night with no uh, no moon out whatsoever. Big thunderstorms and rainstorms coming through all night. Some of them very heavy, and. I was pretty pleased that we had the light on the top of the uh, scan strut radar pole because um, we were able to light the boat up and let other vessels know that we were really close. So uh, that little piece of equipment uh, came in very handy. Um, pretty pleased that uh, we went for that option and had the light fitted onto the scan strut pole. Um, but now it's all about speed to the west and uh, we're just doing the miles.